love speed runs. They are so fun to watch and attempt and fail at when trying to mix up your gameplay. Today, I wanted to try my hand at making my own because I was playing my standard farm and had a negative experience with Pierre recently. Ugh, man, this guy. So it's time to make a speed run to ruin this guy's day. Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wickedy here, and welcome to the Eggy Face Percent Speed Run. Okay, I'm sure someone has already come up with a speed run like this, but it came to me in a fever dream last night, so I just had to try it out. The goal of this speed run is to ruin Pierre's birthday by getting a slingshot, loading it up with an egg, and hitting Pierre right in the kisser with said egg on the 26th of spring. How do I plan on doing this? Well, I tried it out a few times and think I got a good system down. First, I have to get to level 40 in the mines, as that's where our first slingshot is. Next, I gotta build a coop. Sure, the traveling merchant might sell an egg or whatever, but I can't always depend on her and that could take a while. So I'm going to give Pierre a face full of farm fresh home raised eggs. So I'll need 100 stone, 300 wood, and 4,000 gold to build it. I also need at least another 800 gold to buy a chicken and keep it somewhat fed and happy enough to give me an egg. All right, let's do this. I started this farm out on forest for extra goodies to eat just in case. And I have the mines remixed in hopes of finding a club in a mines chest. Official speedruns need you to show an empty seed, so... Hey, looky, I did the thing. Starting off, I sleep until the 4th of spring. Now, normally speedrunners who hit the mines just go straight to it, but I wanted to build a chest because I'm gonna need to collect some money and a couple of things in order for me to build my coop and whatnot. So I chopped a bunch of trees down in order to get 50 for a chest and check the bus stop for anything to eat for when I hit the mines. There were some leaks here and forage, which was going to keep my energy going later, so it's definitely worth it. On the fifth day of spring, it's the day that the mines open up and I got really lucky with a star luck. So head on over to the mines to explore for a little bit and try to get down as far as possible. The best part of heading to the mines on a Friday, the forge has been building up over the last week and we got quite a few goodies today. Now this is where this chest comes in super handy. Normally people who speed run mines 50 don't bother making one and they just kind of deep dive and get as far as they can go. But me, I need to put all of these things in here and there's gonna be space for me to hold any extra stone or gems and things that I might need to sell in order to pay for my coop. I got super lucky and actually found a wood club on the second floor. So great. This is such a good, powerful tool, especially when you're using animation canceling. This is gonna carry me through the first few levels of the mines easy. Now this might be just a little bit of a time waster, but every time I hit an elevator floor, I pop on up and clear out my pockets so I can pop back down and continue on. I just want to be able to collect as much as I can to sell later. I also want to make sure that I level up in mining or combat so we can pass out in the mines and have full energy tomorrow. So I'm always sure to clear ore nodes or gem nodes as I see them too. I ended up getting leather boots on floor 10, which isn't so bad, being that I ended up getting a wood club earlier anyways. And collected my first artifact, an ancient seed. Can't really do a whole lot with this, but I can donate it for 250 gold for later. That'll help with the coop. My level 20 chest had a magnet ring, not bad. When it was getting close to pass out time, with my energy running pretty low, I filled my pockets with a lot of the gems I collected to sell in the morning and ventured on to collect more until I passed out from overexertion on level 26. Saturday was a pyramid luck day. Lucky me, so it was back to the mines today. But first, I dumped all of the goodies in my pockets into the cell box. Hopefully after today, I'll have enough stuff sold so that I don't have to do clay farming for money. The last few times that I tried this run, I clay farmed for money and I had some bad clay patterns, so I had to reset the whole thing. 
I only have 15 more levels to go to get my slingshot, and with this good luck, I'm feeling pretty confident, even though I don't have a glow ring for the dark levels of the mines. There were some pretty well-placed ladders in the 30s, so it didn't take me long at all. Slingshot acquired now, it's time to make a little bit of money and finish some gathering some resources for the coop. I ended up collecting a ton of geodes on my trip in the mines, so I decided to crack those open and hopefully uh, that'll fund my coop. But first, donating this ancient seed that we collected as my first artifact donated means that I'm gonna get 250 gold for finishing that quest, awesome. After selling what's in my pockets and what I got from inside of the 19 geodes I had, I was leaving Clint's with over 2100 gold, so I grabbed the rest of my stuff from the mines to toss in the cell box with the stuff that I put there this morning, and I ended up with over 4400 gold. That's enough to build a coop, just need a little bit more to buy a chicken too. If only I remembered to collect the money from donating that artifact. <laughs> oh well, the things you learn you forget to do while playing it back in editing. <laughs> Sunday the 7th, I spent some time clearing trees for my coop and took a minute or two to check the cart just in case there was an egg, which would save me so much time. Of course there isn't. <sighs> Thanks. After collecting the 300 wood, I dashed on up to Robin's place to build the coop, and I sleep until she completed the job. Of course, Barney is stopping by with a cat right now. And how can I say no to the little fluff ball? I'll name you Shelly, cause, you know, eggs, sh shells, they're part of it. Shelly? Uh, <laughs> anyways. Now it's time to get that chicken. And I had made a little extra money from selling extra wood and sap and stuff. Not from collecting that artifact reward. Oh no, of course, I don't want that. So I just have to wait for Marnie to open her door so I can buy my little coop baby and some hay. Nothing good in the trash today, oh well. Marnie named my brown chicken something she wrote down from Lewis's sleep talking ramblings. I snagged a little bit of hay and caused just a little property damage. It's cool if I sleep here, right? I hugged and fed little Snetza, bless you, and went to bed until she was fully grown. The egg has been gotten on the 15th. Little do you know, egg, you have a very important role. The most important egg I've ever collected. Your day will come soon, in about uh, 11 days. Until then, I sleep. I got bored and figured a backup egg or two wouldn't be such a bad idea, so I grabbed a couple more from the old hen and then hibernated until Friday the 26th came along. One last egg. Now it's just time to wait until 9 a.m. so I can pay Pierre a visit on his birthday. Wait, today is his birthday, right? Yep, calendar says it is, so today's the day! <laughs> uh, no more, it's not right now, skip! Here he is, the birthday boy. Gotta aim this just right to get that little angry emote above his head, and... Done! You got egged, Pierre! Take that for stuff that I'm mad at you about in another life. Not this version of me, but that one from before. You, you know, from earlier. I, I know we just met and this seems very aggressive and unwarranted, but uh, but I have my reasons, I think. Anyways, eggy face percent done. And in record time too, 43 minutes and 43 seconds. Can you do better? I bet you can. <laughs> I had way too much fun coming up with this uh, speedrun and also executing, <laughs> executing, executing the speedrun too. These meme speedruns are just way too much fun. How about you? Is this one that you'll try yourself too? Or is there a favorite meme speedrun that you like to do? Let me know down in the comments. Alrighty friends, I'm Wickedy. Uh, thanks for hanging out in the valley with me. Happy birthday, Pierre, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!